When creating a character, there's a certain term that everyone will hear at least once. The term Mary Sue. There are a lot of videos out there that will discuss what exactly is a Mary Sue and why you should avoid creating one when making a character. But the thing is, if you notice from watching many of these videos, the exact description of the term Mary Sue will vary from person to person. This is because the term has evolved over time and is often used purely for the sake of insulting a disliked character. It's like the trench coat of character design. If you run out of ideas, just throw that in and it looks nice without even trying. Before I proceed further, I should tell you my description of a Mary Sue. In my opinion, a Sue is a character that breaks the universe of the story that the character is presented in. Even a self-insert or a perfect character will not be considered a Sue in my eyes. If the story the character is presented in has another character that is just as perfect as well. The standard is there and it is not broken. So even if your character is an egg-winged teenage mecha Godzilla with no flaw, if the rival or everyone else is just as ridiculous, then that is fine for me. I feel like this idea of avoiding the creation of a Mary Sue at all costs is terrible. I will agree that self-insert Harlem Love Life fanfiction characters can be really annoying. But if the creator cares enough about that character, he or she will continue to include that character in future pieces with actual revisions. Characters will take time to develop. A great character is achieved when you feel like there's nothing you can give or take anymore from that character. The easiest way to achieve that is to treat the character creation like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Your character is like a full plate with various food and as you start to empty the plate, so you'll know what sucks and what doesn't for your next round. It is way easier to turn a merry soul into a great and exciting character than to start off with a boring character that the creator is too scared to add more things because of the fear of creating a Mary Sue. And let's be honest, most of the your character is such a Mary Sue type of insult you might receive along the way of revising your characters are kind of stupid. There was this one time I wrote a quick description of my lizard mascot characters Someone read through it and replied, Your character is kind of an asshole. What a Mary Sue. Really? That's all it takes to be a Mary Sue now? If you really want to avoid creating a Sue, or even enjoy making one, then I have a tip for you. Just create a bunch of characters that is just as good with as much love given to your Sue's character. If you want to avoid making a Sue, then just make everyone a Sue. It's also a lot of fun because the interaction is way more exciting than trying to write a bunch of boring characters trying to do mundane tasks we are already experiencing in our daily lives for the sake of relativity. Don't be afraid to make a character just because someone might consider it a Mary Sue. If you come back to read your old work and actually feel embarrassed about them, you can always write those out later. It's far more enjoyable to work with something you really like than to work with something you make for the sake of appealing to others. That's it for this video, I'll see you next time.